What's going on guys? Today we got a new product from Echo we're going to do an unboxing on, let you know what that is. I've been wanting this product so I finally got the chance to get it. Echo sent it to me. Huge shout out to Echo for sending me this to use, do a review on for y'all and let y'all know about. So we're going to unbox it, do a startup of it, show you what comes in the box and then uh, let you know some specs on it. So if you have any questions be sure to comment below. Let's get started. All right guys, Milwaukee has sent me a couple tools over the past year to try out and use. So uh, we're gonna unbox this with a couple of the Milwaukee tools that they've recently uh, sent to me. This was sent to me beginning of this year and I uh, really love this thing. This thing's awesome, especially with the nine amp hour battery. And then uh, we're gonna open two straps with this and then we're gonna open two straps with another Milwaukee product. So, let me get my PPE. Hang on. I don't think I need hearing protection for that much noise. So, let's get started. Try to get it. There we go, that's better. It's hard, cause uh, this is way down in here. Let me pull the battery out. I know how y'all haters are, man. I know I know how y'all haters are. Pull that strap, and that strap won't fit down in there, so you gotta kinda push and pull and tug it down in there to get it to go. So next, we have the seven and a quarter inch brushless Milwaukee skill saw. And uh, I got to use this a while back. Me and my wife built some shelves for the uh, basement. And so I got to use all the Milwaukee tools that they had sent me, pretty much all the power tools. Absolutely love this thing as well. Uh, hopefully we end up getting a DeWalt one so we can compare the two. But I've already got it set pretty much. Should be easy. And then we'll show you what this is. Ba boom and that's how you, you do an unboxing video guys watch and learn i know haters out there got something to say about this i'm sure i'll hear it let me know all right guys so open this box up here see what comes in it we got the manual of course always have a manual and then safety glasses as always then we continue into the box and we get this i believe that's it looks like that's it let's see all right there she is guys this is it this is what i've been waiting on uh you know i like the 266 or uh, the 2620 the 2620t I, however, like way better. And the reason that is, is it just seems, even though they have the same engine, with it having that two to one gear ratio, it seems a lot more productive. It don't bog down in thicker grass as much as the regular 2620 does. So when I got the opportunity to get another trimmer, uh, I wanted to try their top of the line Echo. I wanted to jump to the 28cc, 28.1cc. So I got the SRM 280T model. Now this has the four layer cable in it, 28.1 cc engine. Uh, of course the easy air filtration system so you can change it. Uh, I believe it holds 20 ounces, 21 ounces of gas. Um, and it has the two to one gear ratio and it comes with a high uh, capacity speed feed. So this one's different than my other ones. This is the high capacity to where the, uh, all my other ones are just the regular speed feeds, so this one 
supposedly holds more line. So we're going to do a start up here. Uh, pulled it straight out of the box. So we're going to put some gas in it. Do a first start up and show y'all what it does. All right, guys. So I want to show y'all that there is zero gas in this thing. I got the cap off. As you can tell I'm turning it upside down. I know all y'all echo haters are talking about, well, you started it first and everything else before. Uh, so this is to show you there's not any gas in there. If you can see that bubble down there right in here, you can tell that that bubble is clean and clear and no gas has been run through this. So I'm gonna add gas in front of y'all. I'm gonna add gas in front of y'all and do the startup of it. Cause I never have a problem with any of my echo equipment. And of course, we fill it up with the sure can. Make sure you spill stuff everywhere. All right, so the primer on this, unlike most of the trimmers, is on the bottom. Instead of being on the back side, it's actually right here on the bottom. So we're going to show you priming it. All right, guys, we're going to take this out here in the daylight where you can see. Because I don't think you can see in there. All right, so your primer bubble is right here. So as you can tell, nothing in there. So we're going to prime it. There comes some gas in there, I heard. Put it on cold start, make sure it's on run. Usually three pulls, it'll fire over, put it on run, and it'll run. One, two, three, put it on run. Uh-oh, two pulls. So I'm gonna let this run a minute like I do all of my equipment. Let it run for about five minutes. There's the first startup for y'all. So we'll be back in a minute to show you what she does. All right, guys, we did the first startup. Uh, let it run for five minutes. I let all my equipment run, let the rings and stuff, uh, you know, warm up and, and expand a little bit before I actually start using my equipment. I don't know if it works or not, but I've never had an issue with any of my equipment from doing that. I've never not done it, so I couldn't tell you if it really makes a difference or not. So, got the start up here. Of course, that's a warm start. So we'll show y'all what this uh, high capacity sounds like. There you go guys, that's what comes in it. The box, first start up of it right there. Like I said, that's just what I do to all of mine, letting them warm up. Just wanted to show y'all that, you know, there was no gas in there. I like showing y'all, letting y'all know that I'm not the type to start something up before I do it on camera. If it messes up, it messes it up for y'all too. So. There it is, the 28.1 cc. This is the Echo SRM 280T. And uh, I got a feeling I'm gonna love this thing. I love the 2620T, so more power is gonna be awesome. And I can't wait to uh, throw some equipment defender mounts on here and throw it up on the rack. Take it with me, use it, see what I think about it. So be watching for a video coming out within the next month or so i'll use it for a month month and a half and then i'll let you know my final thoughts on it of whether i think it's worth the 399 or if you should just go get the 2620t 25.4 cc for uh what is it 359 so maybe 349 349 359 you know uh so for a 40 50 dollar difference 
Is it worth the extra three cc's on this? We'll find out. I absolutely love the 2620T, so be watching for a video, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.